Hi there, welcome to this video all about the Sega Game Gear. Now, as you can see behind me, the Game Gear Micro has been announced. That's so far only for Japan, although I'm sure it will get a Western release as well. And it does look pretty cool. I mean, it's absolutely tiny, but I owned the um, Game Boy Advance Micro and that was fine. I remember playing Outrun and stuff on that. So I don't think it will be that bad. But the diminutive selection of games is going to be an issue when you're used to playing the Game Gear's fantastic library of games. Don't let anyone tell you that Game Gear has a bad library of software. It's got some absolute corkers in there. So, me, myself, I'm a big fan of the Game Gear. This is a boxed original Game Gear. And I want to talk to you about not just this, but two other ways that you can experience the original Game Gear, which I think all of which are probably going to be better than this one. So let's get to it. What I've done is uh, hook up an AC adapter so that I can plug in each of them. But let's talk about the three different things that I'm going to show you. One is an original Game Gear, one is the Majesco Game Gear, and one is a modded Game Gear with the McWill mod. And that's what I got this week, which is why I'm less excited about the Game Gear Micro. So looking inside the box here, there it is. It's a Sega Game Gear. This one is very special because it's an original Game Gear that still works perfectly. And you may think, well, you know, it can't be that unusual for a retro console to still work, but it is. The Game Gear's capacitors fail. Over time, they corrupt, they corrode, they just go bad, they leak. And so you end up with quiet sound or no sound or a dimming screen or no picture at all until eventually it just won't turn on. But this one somehow is still loud and bright and it's never been modded or anything. So that's pretty awesome. Now over here, I have a copy of what was my first uh, game when I was a kid. Uh, that's Super Monaco Grand Prix. So I'm going to put that in and demonstrate to you what it looks like. Hope it does actually work now. Ready? And of course, as with all old things, you do have to blow on the cartridge. There we go, now it works. All right, now as you can see, it's rather blurry. It's difficult to see the screen. It doesn't actually look too bad on this. There's Super Monaco Grand Prix, and in a second, it's gonna go through its demo. There we go. Now, as you can see, it gets blurry very quickly. Everything at the side of the track is a blur and it's difficult to see what's going on. I personally like it very much. A game like Super Monaco is, is fine because it should be a blur anyway, right? It's a racing game. But in games like Sonic the Hedgehog, where you've got fast moving, scrolling scenery, it can be difficult to actually see what's going on. So this is the original Game Gear and it goes quite loud And it's beautiful. It's a lovely thing. So if you can get one of these that works or has been recapped, as they say, which is having new capacitors from someone off eBay, then I do recommend it. It is a lovely thing when it's working. Now, the next one I'm going to show you, uh, because that came out in 1991, I believe, that Game Gear, maybe 1990. The next one I'm going to show you is this one, which is the Majesco Game Gear. Now, the Majesco Game Gear usually has black and white bits here, but I've actually taken the screen plastic from an original Game Gear and put it on this because this has been my main Game Gear for the last 10 years. And yes, I do still play it pretty regularly. I have on and off months. And that's interesting. It doesn't actually take the same AC adapter, but fortunately I have batteries in it. So I'll take the game out. And put it in there. And power on. Now, the screen on this one is the same resolution as the original Game Gear, uh, which is a pretty strange resolution. But as you'll see when it starts moving, the crucial difference is there's less blur. It still looks a bit blurry, but not as bad as it did before. You can see the things at the side of the track much better. It is a better screen, a better refresh, the LCD doesn't, excuse me, the LCD doesn't blur as much and you've got a lovely device. Aside from that, it's pretty much the same as a normal Game Gear. It's a slightly different hue because uh, this one, as you can see, is 
rather grey. And this one is almost black. So I do like it very much. And apart from that, it won't accept a TV tuner, I believe, but it should work with the Master System Converter, which I also got this week, and I'll come on to that in a second. So the Majesco Game Gear 2001, they didn't release any new games for it. Uh, instead, it was just another Game Gear. But I've also got a new Game Gear, which I bought with my birthday money this year, and here it is. Now, this is a McWill modded Game Gear which means it's got the McWill screen mod, which gives you a brand new modern LCD. So when I put this in, the old Game Gears actually used a strip light like you would find in uh, kitchens in the 1990s. And this strip light sucked all the juice from the batteries. So while a Game Boy would get uh, sort of nine to 14 hours off of four AA batteries, uh, original Game Gear would get you about three hours off of six batteries and obviously that's no good at all. So a lot of that is down to the backlight which was um, a strip light which is just crazy. No one would put that in today to get your backlight whereas this beautiful thing is the McWill mod. I mean it's dazzling when you turn it on. It's also it's an old cartridge. It's all it's all old stuff. Is it gonna work? No. One more go. No. <laughs> no. Oh, there it was. Okay. Yes, as you can see, it's incredibly bright. There's actually no way to adjust the brightness. But it just looks perfect when you look at it. So if I tilt it like this, you'll see it. Look at the difference. It's absolutely amazing. Now, although it is amazing, it's not perfect. What the McWill screen is, is a brand new LCD, but it doesn't run at the same resolution as an original Game Gear. So instead you have to cycle through display modes by holding one and two and the start button. And when you do, you get different modes. You've got scan lines, which make it look like an original Game Gear, and that is fitting the screen into the McWill screen. So the modern LCD there is completely full of the game, but with nearest neighbor scaling, which looks alright with Super Monaco, but it doesn't on some games. So options. If you hold one and two and push start, then you notice it went wider. So what that's doing is making the resolution of the screen go I assume two to one because it's not one to one and that's two to one pixels for the horizontal axis so that's the x axis uh, while the y axis is still shrunk down so if you had any kind of vertical scrolling it wouldn't look so good but in platform games like sonic that would actually look much better and you haven't lost that much of the screen now the next version after you've got the scan lines uh, there is the opposite. So now you've lost a little bit of the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen instead and it looks all right, it looks okay. This isn't my favourite mode, I think it's my least favourite mode, uh, but it does mean then that in games that scroll vertically it actually looks all right. And then you've got your scanline mode for that and then the one-to-one -one, which displays it in master system mode. Because this is a handheld master system in essence, if I can find my copy of Castle of Illusion. Yes. You wait till you see this. So this game always looked rubbish. In fact, I'll show you how rubbish it looked. See the difference in the screen? This is already way worse. Way, 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 way worse. The problem with the game that's being displayed here is that it's actually running at a higher resolution than the screen. And so you get weird colours on text. Text appears blurry and the game itself never looks quite right. 
It's very hard to play this backwards, but I can. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> okay, so it's a fantastic game, but when you play it with the McWill mod, it looks completely different. There we go. You have to set it into one-to-one -one pixel mode, and that is not the full screen display. It is properly full screen. Look at that. So you may have bits around the outside, but the game itself is running with one-to-one -one pixels. And I tell you what, it looks like an HD conversion of this game. It looks stunning. I wish you could see it better here. The game is running in Master System mode. So it actually is a Master System game that is shrunk down and put inside a Game Gear cartridge. Now Codemasters did this with a couple of games, namely the Excellent Dizzy Collection and Fantastic Dizzy. And I think Super Kickoff also runs in Master System mode. There aren't that many games that do run in it because it just doesn't look very good. But on the McWill screen, they all run with one to one pixel ratio and they look phenomenal. What's even better is if you get a Gear Master or some kind of Master System converter for the Game Gear, you can fit Master System cartridges in it, like that. That's Sonic the Hedgehog. And then that goes on the back of the Game Gear, which is crazy by today's standards because you end up with this huge, great big device. It's not quite the uh, Tower of Power, but it's very, very close. Look at that bad boy. And if it works, which of course it doesn't. No. It's, it's hard to know or impossible to know which of the connections is not working. There we go. So this is running absolutely perfectly. It just looks phenomenal. I don't think you'll be able to see the resolution from where you are, but so every Master System game looks incredible on the McWill modded screen. It really, really does. It's just unbelievably good. So I would go so far as to say that this is the best way to play Master System games, full stop. Because the small screen makes the lack of detail in the graphics not look so bad. Go on, Sonic, run. Yes. John? No, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's still great. It's still, still great. So, sadly, the worst way to play an original Game Gear cartridge is with an original Game Gear because the screen is too blurry. The Majesco Game Gear, difficult to find, but still feels like the authentic thing. It still looks like a Game Gear screen, but it doesn't blur as much, so it is superior. Uh, if you can afford the McWill mod, I would probably advise, unless you know what you're doing with soldering, of course, I would advise going with a reputable eBay seller who can do it very well. I'll put in the description who I used because I can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry about that. Um, but they did have excellent feedback, 100% feedback, and this unit is absolutely sensationally brilliant. There's no damage to it whatsoever. It was clearly a brand new screen, clearly uh, very well modded, and the sound seems clearer than I've ever heard before. So I do believe them when they say they used really high quality uh, capacitor for the sound. So about £200 you're looking at. You could buy the McWill screen on its own for just under 100 I appreciate that. It's a huge investment. You might just want to get one of these or you might not want to get a Game Gear at all, but I do recommend it. Other thing you could do would be if you've got a Nintendo 3DS, check out some of Sega's own emulated games uh, on the eShop there because they're really well emulated. You get save states and everything, which not even the McWill mod will do. And they look lovely as well on the screen. It even simulates the depth of the Game Gear screen using the 3D stereoscopic effect, which is really cool. But I think we've nerded out enough for this video. So thanks so much for watching. Do have a look around my channel for more retro gaming videos. You'll also find music videos and I'm recording a new album. Uh, it's my third album of music. And that's called The Ghost Train, and it's almost finished, but I've been keeping a video diary as I go. So take a look around. You see on the screen all the different things you can watch. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the Game Gears. Which is your favourite in the comments? Take it easy. Cheers.